Let's use highlight, fan, and macros to build some additional palettes. Let's go ahead and reload Snapshot 3. And we will go to queue out, enter. And once we're there, we're going to turn on group 99, which is all of our LED mixing fixtures. I'm going to touch my red direct select. And now we're going to run our desaturation macro, which is macro two. And I wanna store this color. So I'm gonna say record color palette 11. And I want to label that as light red. Enter. And then in order to get that on our custom direct select module, I'm going to double tap the square right underneath red. We're gonna do this again with orange. So go ahead and touch your orange direct select. We'll run macro two on that as well to get a little bit lighter orange. And we are going to record that as color palette 12. And we'll label that light orange and we'll double tap underneath there. We're gonna do one more. So we'll touch our yellow direct select, run macro two again, and say record, color palette 13, label light yellow. And once again, double tap our custom direct select to assign it there. I want to store this as a new snapshot. So I'm going to collapse my CIA and I want each of my direct select frames to have two banks of direct selects in them. So I'm gonna open up my gear, change that to two banks up there at the top. I'm gonna to do the same thing on this one. And now I want to choose my record targets that I want to populate here. So I'm gonna choose focus palettes here and macros over here. Now we can record this as snapshot four. All right, with our new snapshot, let's go ahead and clear sneak enter to get rid of all of our manual data. And I'm going to grab our overstage movers using my group direct select. I'm gonna to touch my 100% direct select to turn those on. And I want those to be 19 degrees, so I'm gonna to switch to my form and I'm gonna push my encoder button to get the word zoom on there. Type in 19, enter. And I wanna tilt those up until they're right at the edges of the proscenium, right about there. I'm going to use our macro number three, but I can just grab it with my direct select here, my record next focus palette macro. And you'll see that with the touch of a button there, I now have group seven record focus palette 12. Remember it was using select last record focus palette next in the macro. From here, I can type label, and I'm gonna call that the cross stage look. And we need to make one more. We are going to select last, enter, and we're gonna to continue to tip those up until they are way up in the grid. We're gonna run that macro one more time and say label, and we'll call that fly out. For this next focus palette, we are going to want to use our highlight mode. So we're gonna type high enter to drop us into highlight mode. And we are going to select last. Now I'm gonna to wanna to focus these in pairs. So to do that, I'm going to say offset, use my channels per group soft key and say two. And when I focus these, I want my tilt to all behave together, but I want to fan my pan parameter so that they move in and out from center in these pairs. So to do that, I'm going to put pan on my command line, followed by fan and center, then enter. All right, so now we're ready to focus those fixtures. Let's start by tipping them all down together using our tilt encoder. And what we wanna do is point them all down center. We're gonna add these into our down center palette. So from here, I can press next. And because we are in highlight mode, it's going to drop our other fixtures into their low light preset. Now those first two look pretty good. So I'm gonna press next. 
Now I'm ready to focus this pair. Because of our channel selection, when I tilt these, they're gonna to run together. And when I pan them, they're going to move opposite from each other, which is just the way I want them to work here. When I press next, we get the next two. So I can tilt those up together and then pan them downstage as a pair. Next, one more time. Same thing, tilt up together and then pan downstage. I'm gonna press select last just to double check that everything looks right, which it does. And from here, I'm going to say update and I'm just going to touch my down center direct select and that will store those fixtures into that focus palette. Now that we're done, I can turn off highlight mode by simply pressing my high key.